Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. This is Real Magic Review and this is Spark by Orange Tree Productions and Kelvin Chow. But first of all, let's have a look at this. So before we carry on, please do the obvious, like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. Thank you for the comments. Um, there's been loads of lovely comments and loads of material for me. Yay, which is great, um, because we're doing the giveaway at the moment, the big giveaway. Go and have a look at it on the other video if you don't know. All it requires is one comment and you're in a, you've got a chance to win something very, very cool. So have a look at that. If you're not watching this in real time, obviously, you're watching this months down the line, ignore that bit. That's all nonsense. Um, don't look at the giveaway and then think it's it's all time dependent. But there you go. Uh, so I'm going to... Uh, oh, no. Before I do that, cardmagiccourse.com. God, so I've got to plug my card magic course, haven't I? Uh, so go and check out cardmagiccourse.com. Have a look on there. There is so much on there now. I've just uploaded uh, a new trick, which is John Gustafaro. He's so kind. He let me teach his trick, and Mr. E takes a stroll, which is brilliant. So have a look. That's on there. There's a free preview, I think, on there at the moment as well of that trick without giving it away, of course. So this is, but I got this a while ago, and I'm so glad I've, I've got around to it. I, I get so overwhelmed. I, when I started this, everybody started sending me stuff, and I was like, yay. And I was like, oh, God, when can I do it? So because it was Halloween, I realized I saw it on the shelf and thought, oh, I haven't done that yet and I'm completely not topical because Halloween's now finished and now I'm doing this but there you go this is a self-lighting candle and when I got this I was a little bit worried because I don't know a lot about self-lighting candles that I've never had one I didn't know if they're a thing or if they're it's not really my I, I sort of look at this and I think bizarre magic all those seances brilliant for that uh, and I think that may be what made me avoid doing it for so long because I didn't feel qualified to talk about it. Maybe I'm not, but what I can do is tell you as almost like a lay person with this kind of stuff, because I don't do it, what I, what I thought about it. I was really surprised with it. I thought, well, first of all, I thought, what can you say about it? And then I thought it would, wouldn't look like a candle. It'd be a stage prop and look very proppy. And actually, it's really good. The first thing is it works bang on every time. I haven't, I've, with this sort of thing, you've got to worry, haven't you? If there's a moment when it's got a light and it doesn't but I've really tested this I, I've sat there for the last couple of days every now and then it's going right is it going yeah it's going and not any let down there so the first thing you've got to know is it works really well the other few good things about it are it's a real this is made out of a real candle and it's made out of a candle from Ikea handily enough because it's made out of real, it's not obviously it's not just a real candle you know <laughs> so it wouldn't light itself would it um I'm only being silly so this is made up of real candles, so you've got to be a little bit careful, and it requires a little bit of sort of topping up every now and then because certain things are going to burn down. That's a good thing because it makes it look real. And it's the other good thing is you can then you can get the stuff you need easily. Again, I'm talking around it, but you know what I mean. What I'm saying is it's not going to be a problem. You do get everything to get you going here. It's all there. It's not like something you've got to go. You do need lighter fuel. That'll give you the game away a little bit of how it works, I suppose, but not maybe as you'd think. Uh, and a pair of scissors, but that's all you need. And there is a little bit of prep. You've got to prep things. Now, mine was pre-prepped. I don't know whether that's because I was reviewing it or not. Um, but if you do have to prep it yourself, it's fine. And actually, that preparation will teach you how to reset certain things. What I will say is every now and then you're going to have to kind of have a look at this and rejig a little bit. Just think Zippo lighters, but and there's more than one thing about a zippo lighter that you sometimes have to and it's not that thing but it kind of works in the same way not making any sense this is it <laughs> but, but you you can work it out so i would say before every performance if i was on stage i would just give this a, a three minute check around and it's going to take a couple of minutes just to make sure everything's in order that's what i'll say so you're not going to want to stick it in your case forget about it and put it on stage and here we go so that's the prep and there isn't really much of it so this requires charging, which is fine. It doesn't take long to charge. Uh, so, but obviously, if you're doing repeat performances, you've got to take that into consideration. And you get everything with it as well to be able to do that. So there's a really cool thing as well. Well, first of all, it's really nicely packaged. It's nicely produced, um, which, I, again, I really like. I like it when they put a bit of effort into that, but it's not a deal breaker. But what is really nice, they give you this, this thing. Now, this does something else, but I'm not going to go into that. But it's great for the gypsy thread so they, they provide this thread 
in a really nice spool. So you're set to go on stage with the gypsy thread trick and that goes on to what you would use this for. As he says on the tutorial, and the tutorial is great by the way, really, really clear. It gives you everything you want to know, talks to you for everything. Um, this is not, obviously it's a magic trick. It's like, how did that like? But it's an enhancer, isn't it? It's, it's what enhances your performance. So for the gypsy thread, you know, rather than going, ah, and breaking it up, which is totally fine, um, you can you can burn the pieces. You know, I saw Romani do this in in my show in Sheffield. Romani does it very beautifully. Burns the pieces with a with a lovely script, and then um, the gypsy thread goes back together. As you know, or as many of you you will know, you might not know. And if you don't check out the gypsy thread, it's a beautiful piece of magic. And this, you know, you get you're ready to go with this. With that, you can go out and do the trick and give you a really good reason to learn gypsy thread. Now it does call this a close up candle. Um, I suppose it is. I, I, I would use this on stage. Um, the first thing you'll notice about this when you use it is that there's a process that happens. That process, the closer up you get, it's going to be seen. Now, I think it's fine if they're not expecting it, but I'm, I'm you know, doing it there is, is probably going to be an issue. Um, that's about it. I mean, you know, it's, I, I don't want to go in depth for the sake of going in depth. It's probably in depth enough as it is. You know, if you want a self-lighting candle, which creates an area, a, a, a moment of, whoa, and it would be great for freaking people out, wouldn't it? It's a little detail. You know, if you were doing a seance and you're like, well, what was that? And then phew, that goes, you know, with the management, that would be a really nice thing. So it's a good enhance to this. Uh, it's not cheap. So, you, you know, have a think about it. It's not, it's not a tenner. Um, so you are going to want to think about where you're going to use this, but it's going to last a long time. It seems solid. The thing you get with it to make that work, um, I could have seen, could have been a little bit more robust for me. But other than that, it's it's really nice and really nicely made. So there you go. That's Spark by Orange Tree Magic and Kevin or Kelvin Chow. Of course, really important. Please like and subscribe. Please share it. Please do all that good stuff. Click the bell icon, all that. And... Um, Go and check out the giveaway if you haven't yet. It's very cool. It's not just a deck of cards and all you gotta do is comment. And it's not like I've got 20,000 subscribers. So you've got a, you've got a decent chance comparatively. Uh, so check out cardmagiccourse.com. Brilliant way to support the channel and have a lovely, lovely evening or day when, whenever you're watching this. I'll shut up now. See ya.